Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Okay, so if you're, if you're watching this recorded, I encourage you to please press the pause button and try to do it. When you're watching my videos uh, recorded, you should always press the pause button and try to do them because then you'll see the explanation. It'll be better. So, yeah. You try to do it. You try to do it. Okay. So let's talk about it. Um, it's saying that an airplane, airplane travels at 400 miles per hour. So whenever they say miles per hour, that's a velocity. The velocity is 400 miles per hour. How many miles does it travel in 20 minutes? We want to know travel in 20 minutes. So when it says miles per hour, miles per hour, you can rewrite this as 400 miles per hour means miles. The word per per means in one in one hour. So every one hour, the airplane does 400 miles. We want to know the distance, the miles it'll do in 20 minutes. Arithmetic reasoning is what they're giving you, what they're asking you and think how to get there. So we have to think how to get there. So if I have minutes here, it, it's telling me, hey, bring it to minutes. So one hour is how many minutes? One hour is 60 minutes. So step one, let's bring it to minutes. Where it says one hour, I'm going to replace it for 60 minutes. 400 miles in 60 minutes. Why did I do that? So I can change to the units it's asking me. It's asking in minutes. So now we have the same unit. Now all I have to do is think, how do I bring it to 20? 60 divided by a number is going to give me 20. I divide because it's a smaller number, right? 60 to get to 20, you divide by what? By three. And what you do in one side, you do in the other. Four hundred divided by three, and we have our answer. Does three fit in four? One time. Three times one, three. You lower the zero. Does three fit in ten? Yes. Three times four is too big. Too big. Three times four, twelve. So three times three, nine. When the one on the top is more than the bottom, you borrow. He's going to give you 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. You lower a 0. Does 3 fit in 10? Yes. 3 times 3 times 3, 9. You borrow. He's going to give you 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. It's going to keep going, as you can see, 3, 3, 3, 3. You lower a 0. Does 3 fit in 10? 3 times. So it's going to keep going 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So it's 133.3 which is approximately 133 miles. And that is option A. So that's one way of doing it. Here, you would have to think 60 divided by what number is 20? You might not want to you might not want to think that. If you don't want to think that you would just bring it to one to one minute and then multiply by what they want. We'll, we'll do it that way in five seconds. This is the way I would do it in the test, but um, if not, a different way in five seconds. Well, kind of similar, but a little bit different. Okay. Okay, so we're doing the exercise a different way. They say 400 miles per hour. We change it to 400 miles in one hour and at one hour because per per means one, 400 miles in one hour. And they're asking how many miles in 20 minutes. Well, we want to bring it to minutes. So we, we have to change. We know that one hour is 60 minutes. 
So we bring it to 60 minutes. Here where we have one hour, we replace with 60 minutes. Now, you have 400 miles in 60 minutes. We want to bring it to 20 minutes. Some people don't want to think, by what number do I divide to bring it to 20? If you don't want to think, you can do it automatically, bringing it to one minute, bringing it to one minute, and then multiplying by 20. So you would divide by something to bring it to one minute, and then you would multiply by 20, and you would get the answer. So when you divide by itself, 60 divided by itself is going to give you one minute. We're going to bring it to one minute and then multiply by 20 to get our answer. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do in the other. So if I divide by 60 here, I divide by 60 over here. 400 divided by 60. Does 60 fit in 4? No. Does 60 fit in 40? Zero times no. Does 60 fit in 400? You want the maximum without passing. 60 times 7 is 420. Too big, too big. So 60 times 6 is 360. You subtract 0 minus 0, 0. When the one on the top is smaller than the bottom, you borrow. He's going to give you 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 3 minus 3, 0. You lower a 0 and you put a point here. Does 60 fit in 400 six times? Because 7 is too big. 60 times 7 is 420. 60 times 6 is 360. 0. When the one on the top is smaller than the bottom, you borrow. He's going to give you 10, 10 minus 6, 4, 3 minus 3, 0. You lower another 0, 60 fit. In, so it's going to keep going 6, 6, 6, 6, if you're noticing what's happening. 60 fits in 400 six times. So it's going to keep going 6, 6, 6. Okay. So we can round it up to 6.67 if we want. We're going to round it up to here. When the number is 5 or bigger, it's going to round up 1. So it's going to be 6.67 miles. Every one minute, every one minute, you do the airplane does approximately 6.67 miles. Now, why did you bring it to one minute? To then change it to this that they want, multiplying by 20. What you do on one side, you do on the other, and you're done. In 20 minutes, 0 times 0 times 0, 0 times 6, 0, 0 times 6, 0, space, 2 times 7, 14, carry the 1. 2 times 6, 12 plus 1, 13, carry the 1. 2 times 6, 12 plus 1, 13. When you add it up, 0, 4, 3, 3, 1, 2 back, 2 forward. 133.4 is approximately 133. In 20 minutes, you do 133 miles. Now, again, this method that I did second, you don't have to think by what number do I multiply or do I divide to get to 20. You just divide by the number they give you to bring it to one minute, to bring it to one minute. Once you bring it to one minute, you multiply by 20. That is what they're asking for and you're done. Um, if you didn't get it, uh, please rewatch the video. Let's pass.